Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. Let's see if we can finish World 5 this part. I think we can. I think we can. It's an auto scroll stage with super squishy mushrooms. The color of the mushroom that you're standing on indicates what behavior it's gonna do. Like there's a darker version of it and it's... What it'll do is it'll go up instead of down. And why did I release down there? I don't know. Like, woo, look at that, look at that, look at that. And I also got a bullet generator here, which may or may not make things go badly for me. <laughs> Whenever there's a random um, aspect to the level, the rhythm of the level, I guess you could say, goes off because what happens is you don't expect where they're going to come out of. It's <laughs> sort of like that. By the way, bullet bills are fireproof if you didn't know that. So yeah, if you didn't, uh, I mean, if you noticed that I wasn't shooting them with fire or anything like that, that is why. That's a pretty neat little red coin path that they have there. Hey, 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 don't hit your ride there. Not allowed to. No, you must be this tall to ride. Oh yeah. Anyway, as you see, there still hasn't been a coin yet. Keyword yet. Oh, no, 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 no. Aha. And now I gotta get to the other side quickly, because... Well, actually, now I don't have to get to the other side quickly, I just need a turtle. Or any type of shell. There we go. Go down, go down, yes! Otherwise that shell would've hit me. That wouldn't have been pretty. Believe you me. Alright, what awaits us now? Um, wait a second, isn't there something like a... Uh, I thought there was like, maybe a vine. I don't know why I'm thinking that. Maybe I'm thinking of some other level. Anyway, that gives you a 1-up, which will kind of run away from you. I kind of hit that a little bit too early. <laughs> it's fine, though. It's fine. It's not like I need lives. Although, you know, if I lose one, I better be careful. Because you just never know if I'm going to need the full 99 lives at this point, you know? <laughs> and we're coming up to the finale here. Listen to the sound effects. I'll shoot. <laughs> yeah, they can. You, the sound effects can actually chain together. Like, listen. Hear that? Isn't that neat? It's like a musical level of sorts, with a slide whistle. <laughs> and there we go. Five dash four completes. And the castle here is going to have two exits, as you can tell on the map, because there's a split path to world 6 and 7. So I'll get both exits. I don't know which one I'll do first. Probably the normal exit, but I'm not sure about that. I'll see how things go, because uh, in order to get the secret exit, you've got to be tiny again. Well, mini. And um, the only way to become mini is, well, at least in this level, is to hit one of those roulette type of blocks and hope that you get the correct item. Yeah! <laughs> so, it could potentially be a difficult thing, because I think the block is also on a treadmill. I mean, it's above a treadmill, so I gotta, ugh, so I gotta focus on my speed as well as hitting the block at the same time. It's multitasking, and that dry bones was exercising. <laughs> But, uh, alas, I have messed with its routine. By the way, the uh, uh, Fire Flower makes this level quite trivial, actually. Um, because you got a lot of piranha plants on treadmills and whoa, and stuff like that. And uh, also, I'm looking for a springboard. G gotta do this. Yeah, <laughs> it's kind of silly, but that's how it's done. <laughs> Pretty clever, actually. Oh, that's a super dry bones here. You can jump on it, but it doesn't do anything. You actually gotta ground pound it in order to make it crumble. Uh, so yeah, it, it's an enemy that's best avoided in situations where you are, where you don't have exactly solid footing. Uh, at least in my opinion. Uh, midpoints. Uh, oh, poopers. There should be a power up in here anyway. Yep. Mm -hmm. Oh, what the heck? Like it, like it hit the treadmill, like at the very, very tiny corner. It didn't reach a prana plant. Okay, here is the, the transition point where I would want to get a mini mushroom. But I think I'm gonna do this level just normally at first, and... Oh, no. oh, oh. Killing big piranha plants yields quite a bit of coins. Uh, but anyway, <laughs> I'm just gonna do this normally because I would like to practice the boss. And I would also like to get above the ceiling, if at all possible. The reason why is... Oh, I need... 
Well, maybe I don't have to be mini to get up there. Maybe I just need to triple jump. Or I need the assistance of ye old dry bones! Oh, that would work! Okay, I, yeah, this is a rather tricky jump, so I'd really like to get this when I don't have to be mini. <laughs> oh, so close. I got plenty of time to do this. I just need to get the feel of this again. Come on now. Come on now. Don't give me... Don't give me that. <laughs> Come on. And it's kind of annoying because these dry bones just keep coming back and... Oh, shoot. I need to jump like right on... Or I should say double jump right on the edge of the platform. And I also gotta control my speed. This is entirely possible to do, by the way. <laughs> Or maybe I'm not supposed to be doing it as regular Mario, which is why it's so difficult. Maybe I should be doing it as mini Mario. Come on... Yes! Got it! Yes! Now go above the ceiling. That's the door to the exit down below there, by the way. But you want to go down here first. I'm going to leave that block for now. And... Run. Okay... Beware of the ice there, you could fall in the hole quite easily. And... I left that because it's a power-up and it doesn't really matter when I get it. <laughs> go. <laughs> there we go! Alright. Normal exit time. Guess who's the boss of World 5? Can you guess it's PD Piranha? Probably not! <laughs> yeah, when I seen PD in this game the first time, I was floored! I never thought I would see PD again for, I mean, at least in a side-scroller. <laughs> Anyway, once it does that, it'll slip on the ground, then you can just jump on it like so. Um, after it takes two hits, it'll get a lot more wild though, so be wary of that. But you want to keep moving so it doesn't trap you while it's coming down, and yeah. I could also do ground pounds to save myself a little bit of, whoopsie, <laughs> to save myself a little bit of uh, uh, time here to, you know, do double the damage. But I'm just trying to show you its attack patterns and whatnot. And there we go. It's done. Give me that Super Mario 64 key, yeah! Woo! Oh, transition point. Oh, uh, doing that castle as, uh, I, mean, I should say doing that boss as Mini Mario is actually quite difficult because you're so, so floaty. But the, what, what, why did I click World 6? I want to click World 5. World 5 is the way to go. It's because it's not finished. Oh, I didn't go to that can yet, did I? Now that leads to World 8, I think. Anyway, let's run through the castle like a madman and hope, hope, hope that we get a mini mushroom at that uh, um, box. Well, uh, what's nice about this level, though, is that while it may be difficult to 100% this level in terms of uh, finding the secret exits, uh, the block that you need to get the mini mushroom from, unless you get it from an outside source, is right after the mid, <laughs> right after the midpoint. So it's not. Whoa! <laughs> so it's not really that big of a deal if you do mess up the timing on that. And yeah, a Venus fire trap. Out of my way. Stop that. Thank you. <laughs> and I don't have to worry about eels. Whoa. Well, I, I guess I'll take it with me. <laughs> By the way, you can throw springboards at stuff and it won't actually do anything. Oh! Well, I didn't really demonstrate it there, but yeah. <laughs> I don't. At least I don't think it does anything. Maybe I'm thinking of Super Mario World, where it doesn't, I don't know. Um, what am I getting power-ups for? I'm gonna be turning mini soon. <laughs> like, right here. Well, actually, I should kill that, because it makes things a little easier to time here. Got it! Got it! Alright, now I gotta survive. This should be... Relatively easy to get to the door. Just gotta relax. Let the dry bones flow under my feet. Oh yes, just gonna relax. Enjoy the sliding, and there we go. Will I be able to defeat P.D. Piranha in one try as many? Probably not. <laughs> but I will try my best. Alright, again, I'm going to do the same strategy of just moving back and forth, just waiting for him to do that. And ground pound. Oh, oh. Wow, you really float. <laughs> like, seriously, Mario. What are you, like, an ounce? You're like a dandelion puff or something, I don't know. <laughs> oh, no, I want a ground pound. Xbox D-pad, not my friend. 
Go underneath, oh god. Just start flying, start flying, good boy! Okay, I think I got this. I just need to wait for it to do that. And then I do this! Yeah! I did it! Whoa. And this unlocks World 7, which we already unlocked with the cannon a while back. But, you know, I just wanted to get both exits. But... I'm not done yet. It's cannon time. Look in the background. It looks pretty sinister, right? Oh, it's very sinister. Because World 8 is the final world. We're not going to do that yet, I just wanted to play the cannon. Because <laughs> the cannons actually count as stages, believe it or not. So here we are, World 8, and we're gone. <laughs> Let's start World 6, right here, right now. Believe it or not, there is not a single secret exit in World 6. So this is going to be a relative breeze. 6-1. Here we go. Although, um, uh, oh, here's a rotation cannon. It shoots uh, bullet bills regardless of whether or not you're, um, wait, actually, I thought it doesn't, oh, okay, if you're up above it, it shoots, but if you're standing on it, it won't shoot. Okay, I, I was got a little confused there. But yeah, normally uh, cannons, when you're in range of them, like next to them or whatever, they refuse to shoot for whatever reason. It's similar to um, piranha plants deciding not to, um, pop out. By the way, these ledges here, it's pretty hard to fall off them. <laughs> and you've also got a lot of power, like you can go down underneath them by pressing down like that and pressing up to get back up. Yeah, it's those ledges are really, really easy to get around on. <laughs> Here's the first star coin. <laughs> and there's the other one over there. It's a little preview, I guess you could say, to hint where the coin is, but it's kind of hard to miss this coin, in all honesty, because you'd have to miss that there's a ledge over here somehow, and I don't think you're going to miss that there's a ledge over there somehow. Yeah, why did I get that? I don't know. I guess points. <laughs> um, I'd like to time myself to go over it rather than on it, yeah. I'm not all that comfortable doing wall kicks and landing on stuff, because the, the forward momentum is a little... Oops, is a little bit weird, if that makes sense, like, um, how do I put it, there is, you can't control how far you jump off the wall until you get past a certain distance, I guess you could say. Anyway, I'm going down here because I want to take a hit. No, actually, I think there's a, a coin down here. Uh, maybe not. I'm going to switch. <laughs> Whoa! Well... Thank you for shooting while I was directly above it. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go back up there. I'm using ye old bullets. Okay, maybe the coin was up here because it's more difficult to get. Oh, uh, well, here's a seeker, but it's optional. Uh, it just leads to a little mini segment. But yeah, that's that's not what I'm looking for. Oh, here it is. <laughs> it's right past that cannon. Um, if you want to get to the goal, you gotta kind of have some assistance from the bullets here. Whoop! I should say get the one up on the goal, and ah, oh, I came so close, so so close, so close. <laughs> and that unlocks the path to that pond. But I'm going to do that in the next part because I would like to end it off here. I think because things are going well. <laughs> Not gonna. Um, um, I was going to say gift horse in the mouth, but I, I don't know, I, I can't think of the saying right now. I, I'm failing, I'm just going to end it off here. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next part. Oh, don't look a gift horse in the mouth, that was it.